Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel and today I'm doing something a bit different. As you see by the title, we're going to be playing the F1 2009 game on the Nintendo Wii. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is actually going to be split screen uh, with my brother who actually bought the game up for me uh, to play. I haven't played this game in a long time, probably about eight years or something. So, yeah, very long time ago since I've played it. Um, it's going to be quite interesting though because we actually found out you can use the nunchucks that you get as well as with the controller instead of just hold it like a wheel. So we're using the nunchucks as that kind of represented as much as a controller as possible. Um, using it as a wheel, just I, I could not do it. So I was trying to use controller. Um, in the video you might see it's quite dodgy driving. Um, but yeah, it's going to be difficult, not easy at all. It's a lot different handling compared to the nowadays games so yeah we're gonna actually be doing two races in this video um race one will be at bahrain i'll be racing on the top screen in the tour so the bottom screen will be my brother who is in the toyota um race two will be in belgium i'll be or we'll both be in the force indias so um yeah again i'll be top screen my brother will be bottom screen so it's going to be interesting to see, um, but yeah, let's just jump straight into it and see how it goes then. Also, just a quick disclaimer, this was recorded with my phone, um, as sadly my Elgato capture card didn't want to record it at all. But it's not too bad, I've made it look as good as possible and got it in 1080-60 for you guys. So yeah, it won't be the best quality in the world, but hopefully it's still watchable. So I'm actually going to voice over this, um, just to have a bit of commentary over it, but it is 500 lights and it is lights out. And away we go here, so obviously I'm top screen in the Toyota, like I said, I'm my brother's bottom screen in the Toyota. Um, even in this, I'm still using cockpit cam, so uh, it just shows my dedication to cockpit cam. My brother absolutely sends it there, down the inside, and taps the Ferrari off massive a bit there. I uh, get into a bit of contact, but try and keep my nose clean a bit. So I think we started 9th and 10th, I think it was, I apologise, I kind of missed out there. But yeah, I'm already keeping position, or at least not losing positions, that's a good thing. As I'm trying to get as close to Alonso as possible. Um, obviously, as you can see, the steering wheel is really twitchy because the nunchucks are super sensitive on this game and, uh, uh, well, on this console, really. And it's super difficult to get used to. As you see, I'm going wide everywhere. Eventually, I do start to get a little bit better, but you're going to see a lot of that twitchiness, to say the least. Um, very difficult to handle. Uh, go massively wide there. Still trying to get a bit used to it, still. My brother, who actually owns the game, has been practicing at home um, a lot more compared to me whereas me this was literally my second ever race on the the game when you brought up this weekend so it's uh, super weird for me to experience this sorcery again to say the least uh, compared to me using my Logitech G29 wheel on PS4 or on Xbox or on PC even on the nowadays games like F1 2020 and Project Cars 2 and stuff so um yeah I was trying to keep up with him as much as possible but obviously he's already at the P4 I'm down to P9 which isn't ideal um, but he did do a massive send into turn 1 whereas I was trying to keep it clean and not get damage because damage is on and you'll see that in next race what I mean by that uh, no spoilers yet but a little hint to what's to come um, as I'm trying to catch out Alonso as best as possible uh, I've really ran that curb nicely there they're having a massive battle the three cars ahead of me um, button Alonso and Williams, I didn't quite catch who that was, I think it might have been Rosberg but um, yeah at the moment we're still just holding positions and we'll just carry on pushing and see how it goes my brother is looking all over the back of Massa and actually tries around the inside there now around the outside of Massa as I go completely off track and my brother actually makes it past Massa around the outside there so very good overtake from him as I'm still trying to get used to the car and the handles of this game by going massively off wide on those two left right handers and down towards the hairpin like I said it's very difficult um, sadly game audio does cow here for whatever reason I'm not too sure why but I do try and use a bit of my curse and try around the outside of button here and actually make a move stick very nicely on him somehow and now I've got to try and catch down Alonso try and battle him back try and slick in his slipstream I was thinking about sending it here and I thought actually I better not because there was a massive straight coming up where I will get more curse um, I'm going to let you listen to this raw so you can listen to what the curse sounds like again and relive the memories of this. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, pretty nice simple move down into turn one and down the start finish straight. So that pushes me up to P7 then. So that's two overtakes made for me already. As my brother makes it up to P1 then ahead of Vettel. Um, obviously, everyone's in different teams on this game. So Vettel in Red Bull. Uh, not even in Ferrari, in Red Bull. So it's a massive difference compared to the nowadays grid. Again, I'm going very wide, finding the track limits there. I'm still in for a chance to possibly get a podium. But it's kind of a long shot right now. As we're about to start our third lap of the race as I get a very good exit there and jump Rosberg out of the final corner which is very nice and I'm going to try and sit in the slipstream of Weber, try right down the inside of Weber, maybe even get a double move here down the straight up to P4 we go then down the inside of Massa and somehow made that nicely done and up to P4 I don't know how I did it but now we have a few well just two more laps to try and catch on Barrichello in the brawn I don't know how it's going to go but let's just see if I can try and catch him down then. So, we're just about to start the final lap of the race. As you can see, I can see Barrichello in my sights, so I'm really pushing as much as possible for this podium as we start the final lap of the race now. Um, I am catching a massive amount which is really good to see. Um, I was thinking maybe I could even have a shot on Vettel as well but it may be a bit of a long shot obviously with him being a bit more up the road and I still need to try and pass Barrichello yet. On the final back straight then, slipstream Barrichello, tuck it to the inside, managed to get around Barrichello very nicely down the straight with a nice amount of slipstream and make it up to P3 so he took a podium position. Let's go! Final lap overtake for a podium. Let's go. Let's go. I don't care about it. Let's go. That was good, that was good. Where did we start anyway? Right, good job. Oh, that was not bad. So now for race two at Belgium, then in a wet Belgium, um, also to add to our, well, tragic race here, um, we. Get a very good start once again. Uh, immediately yellow flags, which is very weird. Uh, my brother absolutely sends it there down the inside. Has a tiny bit of contact with the brawn, uh, whereas I take a bit more time and manage to make a few positions nicely and move up to P5. Meanwhile, my brother moves up to P3. Um, so that is an incredible move for him into turn one. I go very wide off my route get back on track, and I get back on track before I overtake Bun, so that's good and make a legal. Nice move on button out of a rouge. Um, so next is actually my brother in P3. Now I need to try and somehow battle him. This is the first time we're actually going to have a proper battle. Not going to lie on this game. Um, we've had many battles in the previous uh, videos that I've done with him on like F1 2017, 2018, 2019, even 2020. But this is a lot different. None of us really knew how to handle the cars still 100%. Still struggling in a massive amount, but nevertheless, we were still doing a very nice job in the wet conditions. Obviously, these are the Bridgestone full wets, as you can see. It's got the lime green stripe down the middle, which is uh, to indicate it's a full wets. Um, so yeah, I was trying to push as much as possible, as my brother does try and attempt a move on Button there. Obviously, he's already got past Weber, so now it's my turn to try and get past Weber. He goes past Barrichello very nicely there around the outside of him. Now it's my turn to try and get past Weber and Barrichello. I try and get in the slipstream of Weber. It's very difficult with the spray to see where they are. I manage to get around Weber very nicely. Now I've got to try and get past Barrichello. Manage to get around Barrichello very nicely. And now it is a Force India 1 2 as we both go immediately wide there. The Braun tries to come back at me, have a tiny bit of contact, but I managed to defend nicely. Neither of us got damage, which is good. But yeah, now it is a 1 2 for Force India. And we were trying to think. I was trying to think, should I send it? Should I try and get past him and go for the win? I almost completely destroy him there, which is, luckily I didn't. Luckily I backed out. But yeah, um, I get a very nice exit. Hint of curse here, down the straight, up towards Rouge. I managed to go for a move here, around the outside, down the inside of Rouge, keep two wheels just on track, and manage to make it up to P1 on my brother somehow, out of nowhere. Um, I have to try and use a hint of curse down here, most of my curves actually, not just a hint. Uh, he used a bit of his curves as well. I tried to save a little bit for the final straight as well because I didn't want to just use it all up and then 
him gobble me up down the straight using his curse and I have nothing. Um, so at this point I was starting to get a little bit better with the nunchucks and the Wii Remote on this game. Still not the best, you can see I've really run that curb there, uh, just avoiding the grass. Um, the wet isn't actually too bad on this game. Uh, usually I prefer the wet conditions anyway, but apart from visual, I don't notice much of a difference compared to from wet to dry. Um, the only thing, like I said, was visual. The massive amount of spray, that's probably what they've done. They've put so much spray, so it's difficult to know where the other guys are breaking. I go and run that curb massively there as a bit of dodgy driving is coming into play right now as my brother's looking to try and make a move on me here. He does have some curse, same as me as you can see, you can't really see his curse as the screen's cropped a bit. Um, I use my curse straight away, he uses a tiny bit of his curse uh, at the same time as me basically. Um, the slipstream on this game is OP, so he was slipstreaming a massive amount and was probably thinking about sending it. Luckily he decides to not do that. Um, but he goes massively wide and nearly completely destroys me there. You hear him say, oh my god, and oh jeez, and stuff like that a lot during this race because of the massive battle we're having. Um, so run down towards turn one, start lap three now, out of four. Um, this is where it gets very interesting because he tries a move there to try and get past me. Luckily he backs out, we have a tiny bit of contact. Coming up with Rouge again, the gap is very, very close now. I think this is the closest I've ever been, so I really need to watch out. And I really want to try and get my first win on this game. Um, in a long long time so it would be nice and obviously him having the more experience is going to be very difficult though so I try and use a bit of my ERS once again so does he and it looks like I might just keep ahead of him you could just see him just behind me when I look behind uh, coming through here I feel like I've taken this the best I've ever done all race but then suddenly I just go massively out wide aqua plane off hit my front wing spin and get massive suspension damage and that is my race over I've bottled the lead I've bottled the race I'm not even going to get a podium at this point, I've got front left suspension damage, I've got no front wing and I think this is pretty much race over for me at this point. I do try and nurse the car back to the pits um, and see if I can repair it and on this game, luckily because it's an old game and they don't really think about realism, they have just made it so you can fix it in about 6 seconds or something. So um, I do decide to try and pit and see if I can try and battle back but at this point with only one lap remaining after I do make my pit stop it's not looking good so yeah in real life obviously that would easily be completely from when gone no wheel on any of the sides of the car to be fair massive damage and I would have had to stop the car like literally there's nowhere I'd be able to continue but luckily since it's only the 2009 game I can so I dive into the pits um, and at this point you can hear us asking can I fix it luckily um, my pit crew are even better than Bob the Builder, uh, you know, who could fix everything and actually somehow fix my suspension. So I managed to get a, I think it was like seven second pit stop. So yeah, I couldn't believe that. And at this point, my brother said, I've only just been overtaken by PK, so maybe I could still have a chance to still get P19. And that was my next goal to try and get that as I go a bit wide the aqua plane, but luckily I managed to keep it in and not pick up a penalty. So now it's trying. To go for a comeback drive to try and nab P19. Not a great result, especially for where I was, but I guess it happens. We had a nice battle in the lead, and sadly, I'm not going to get my first win though. So at this point, my brother comes across the line to win. As I'm still chasing down PK, you can see him. I have a tiny bit of curves left, so I do use it a little bit just to try and catch him a little bit more. Get a very good exit, get a tiny bit of slipstream, manage to get around the outside of him very nicely. I think he was struggling or had some damage or something, I'm not too sure because he was very slow out of there compared to me. But it's going to be P19 sadly, could have been a lot better, at least P2 if I didn't bowl it. But I guess it is what it is, um, go massively deep once again for the final time, around the final corner then. And I'm going to come home in P19 in the Force India, so I'll take it. Oh, no. Bob told me. 